What's going on? It's Casey, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So, I've been wanting to make a beat. Well, I've been thinking about make, wanting to make a beat all day, but today, all I've been doing mostly is researching how to grow my YouTube channel. And it boils down to content and uploading videos. Uploading as much videos as you, as you can. So I've been doing two videos a week, looking to do three. But it's just the editing takes forever. So I don't know if I'm gonna do three. I might just stick to Tuesdays and Saturdays for now. If you know already, I'm on the road to 20K. That's the goal I've set for myself for the end of the year. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, road to 20K, I think I can do that. I'm currently sitting at about 3.7, 3.7K. I and mean, we're in now, March. It's looking kinda, it's looking doable. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you, appreciate that. I'm gonna jump into making this beat video, this beat making video, but before I do that, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I hit the gym at least three times a week. If you go in the gym, you're gonna need protein. So I'm gonna quickly make a protein shake in three, two, one. So, got an idea in my head, and I'm gonna see if I can get this idea done. Eight bar loop, maybe a 16 bar loop, so I feel if I'm feeling that creative. But I'm gonna start this one off different though. I'm gonna beatbox the drum pattern I hear in my head, and then I'm gonna try and get that done in Logic Pro. So yeah, let's just do this. Before I jump into the video, I wanna shout out my favorite comment within the last week, and that's coming from Jamie RX Sucks. That username's mad, bro. No, I appreciate the comment because comments like that lets me know that my videos are actually reaching people and helping and that's the whole idea of it, you know what I'm saying? So thank you, bro. I appreciate your comment a lot. It means a lot. Thank you. Shout out my newest subscriber, Ramin Raskane. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope I pronounced it properly, bro. Shout out me if I have made a mess of your name. Oh, yeah, thank you for subscribing, bro. I appreciate it. Make sure you've got that notification bell and as well so you get notified when this video drops as well and future videos. Let's dive in. So I've set up the mic, turn the mic on, preamps ready on channel one, phantom powers on, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do quickly is beatbox this drum pattern and then create the drums from that. Let's go. So I created my drum pattern from beatbox. Nah, I think I might play some pianos and see if I can get the piano sound down. Or I might create the drums. Just, just, I'm just gonna go with the flow, see how that works. Cans on, world off. That's all right, yeah, that little pattern's not too bad at all. I like it. Oh, I've got two samples in here as well that I'm gonna incorporate somewhere in this beat as well, so. Yeah, definitely gonna bring them in. You know I really like to put my Vox sounds in my beats and stuff. Actually, I might chop out some of them sounds and put into the beat, but I can hear the click in the background. So I'm thinking that might interfere with, how the, with the overall sound. But before we do that, anyway, I've got an idea for a, a loop. I'm, I'm so close to the camera. Got the idea, got the riff. So let's see if I can get it done. Oops. that down the last note of that wasn't feeling so I'm just gonna quickly jump in change that note so it sounds okay so it's on oh what is this doing I 
did last night. Okay, the riffs are okay. It's kind of cool. Still, we like that. We roll with that. So now, nah. add some drums to the already existing beatbox and see if we can make it sound a bit more drilled. Drill sounding type drums, but obviously we've got the sweet melody on top, so it's kind of like a heavy one type beat. Yeah, I'm using the same drums, the same hi hat pattern, but like I said, it's just to get my ideas down and then later on change out certain sounds and add other things in. So, yeah, just concentrating on 8 bar loop for now. I like that that fembox sound, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the pitch of it because I use that a lot in beat. So let's just see. at all. <clears throat> Let's try a different sound. Let me just take that beatbox. Do you think half time, no half time? I'm gonna leave it without the half time for now and then just add some 808s on it. So I'm just working out what notes is going to work in, what notes are going to work for the 808. So now I'm going to soup it up a little bit. Push that to the side there, set. So let's see what Vox samples we've got here. Let's 
chuck that there. Feel that the pitch, the key of that second one's a little bit off. So I'm gonna try and fine tune it or just change the key. So that second vox sample is sounding a bit off. So I'm going to chop that end piece and then put a delay on it. See what happens with that. a few different styles different melodies so kind of like counter melodies I didn't press record but if you press shift and R it will bring up all the patterns that you've just played so as you can see I've got one two three four different patterns there so I can just mute one of them I can just leave one of them to play I think I'm gonna go with this one here because it's simple because we've got the piano riff that's doing the most, so we just need something a little bit more simple just to counteract that melody. And yeah, I've used the same sound as I did last time. Like I said, it's just to get some ideas done, go back in again, change up, switch up some sounds, and yeah, just go from there really. Giant pattern sounding a little bit repetitive, so we're just gonna make it a little bit different. I like that little melody, it's nice. some more kicks in. to wrap up the beat making session got my ideas down so i'm just gonna roll with that for now go back to it change up a few things and then put it on my website 
Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram. I'm always posting up little tips and tricks on my stories and that I don't get to put on YouTube. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.